All right, you guys, so we just got home. It's Monday night. I've been working on a ton of different things and we stopped by the grocery store. So, like, it's 7.15 at night. Just like you guys, I guarantee you, you're hungry, you're tired, you've been working all day. Sarah's putting together, she's putting all the uh, groceries together back there. So that's some ground venison that we ground up out at the ranch um, December 17th, 2014. So about a month and a half ago. So just so y'all know, we aren't like some big studio with a made up production. We have real lives, we're really busy, and I'm not a chef, I'm a home cook. I actually stole that off the line I heard on TV. Like, I'm not a chef, I'm just a guy who cooks at home. And I have a lot of fun with it. So, this is some deer meat that we personally, I mean, this is off of Sarah's deer, one of the deer she killed. We personally processed it out of the ranch with Cliff and Leilani. And then we vacuum sealed it in our personal vacuum sealer. Because I'm tired and I went to the grocery store and they had this already cut up. This is tricolored peppers. It's uh, yellow, red, and green bell peppers. And then, got some baby bella mushrooms. Whole. Sliced baby bell mushrooms. I mean, but you didn't cut them anymore? Nah, I just throw them in there like that. Take a couple of these garlic cloves. We'll smash them. Chop them. I mean, if you're making a pasta dish, it'd almost be a shame not to use some garlic. Big shocker, everybody. We're gonna use some Everglades. Not like that. So much flavor coming out of that now. The ground deer meat is very, very, very lean. I added absolutely no fat to it, so it's very lean. Look at that. That just looks good. And we're just cooking that down a little bit. Not all the way. It's got a good, good, good flavor to it. Got a good smell. As always, our dogs are a big part of life around here. There's T-Bears and Rammers and Momar. Yeah, all three doggies. Hi, Mr. Momar. Hi, little stinker. Bless you. Wow, bless you, doggies. Okay, so you. if you are cooking your pasta, make, make sure your salt, your water is nice and salty. It's gonna add a lot of salt. Okay. What does it do? It just flavors everything. Take a little bit of butter or olive oil. I'm just gonna use the other half of that, about a tablespoon of butter, throw it in there. Let that come to a rolling boil. Now you can see this is all cooking down nicely. It's so good. It's got a great aroma. It has a wonderful aroma. All right. And it's got a nice color to it. It is, it's very pretty. Oh, the mushrooms look good. Now we're gonna take some deer meat. Nice, lean deer meat. It's not all the way thawed out. So, we break it up. Toss it on in now. We're gonna be eating this for a week. I don't know. 
I think that's about enough meat. What do you think? I think you need to save that other stuff. Yeah, we'll save this. We've got our ground deer meat in the pan. Season it up. And if you if you ordered a lot, I mean thousands of y'all have ordered that Everglades. If you're using the Everglades, you don't even need to use pepper or salt because it's it's a blend of spices that everything's incorporated there. Okay, so everybody's been asking, how would you describe Everglades? You can't. There's no spice in the world that it tastes like. It's I don't even know. It's good. That's the only way you can explain it. All right, so we're using this Napa Valley Bistro. It's a tomato basil red sauce. Go ahead and get that nice and hot right there. If you want to take something and bring it, just bring it up a notch, and you want to have a great aroma, add some fresh herbs to it. So. We're just going to take some of this fresh rosemary and just put it in there. Try to break it up. You don't add. You need, you don't need to add too much. You're not trying to overpower it. You're just trying to give it a nice herby smell. You could do thyme. You could do fresh basil, or you could do rosemary. I personally love, love, love rosemary. I think that's about enough. Oh, and, okay, so um, we have been kind of quiet on this, but we want to let you guys know that we were originally going to get married June 6th. We're going to have a big wedding, yada, yada, yada. But Rob and I sat down and talked about it, and we decided that we're just going to have an ultra simple, really small wedding in March. March, y'all. So a month away, we're going to get married. So we wanted you guys to know because we didn't want to just be all of a sudden single and then married one day. So um, you guys keep up with everything we do. So instead of June, it's going to be March. Yeah, and but it, all, we will be it, like, We'll still be videoing. filming. Yeah, we'll still be filming it all. It's just going to be small um, at our church. So y'all still get to see it. It's just going to be a different date. So we can't wait. Look at how nice this is coming down. Yeah, give them a close up. Well, I just put Oops, I gotta turn this down. There you go. Mm, that just, that just that smells so good. Good stuff right there. And I'm making enough so that I have some left over for tomorrow. Why did you put the lid on it? So you walk the heat and it gets hot faster. Okay, so back to the wedding. Um, so this is our last month being single of our lives. What do you think about that, honey? I think it's very exciting. I've waited 38 years to find the right one. I finally got her. Woo -woo! Literally, all we're going to do, all we're gonna do here, take our sauce and just dump it right in here. Now, I wish I had a little bit more sauce you can add more, we have more. Yeah, no, that's fine. <clears throat> Actually, that's about the perfect consistency. That's that's just what I wanted it to look like. That's perfect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is gonna be some good stuff right there. Will that pink meat cook in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're just gonna simmer this. Oh, Remy found Remy's cookies. about to simmer her some of that that fell. Remy's pretty that good. These have got to be the best invention ever. If you guys are worried about like your meats, your chickens, your anything, these are disinfecting. And they're great on grease. Great on kitchen grease. Wipe it down, wipe your oven down, your stovetop down. 
Grease is gone. That's Sarah's fact of the day. What do you think about that, Mara? Sarah's tip of the day. One more. Say Sarah's tip of the day. One more tip of the day. Yes. Our egg noodles are about ready to roll. I know, I know, it's butter. Butter in your pasta is super duper good. Toss around so the so the pasta doesn't get sticky. If you've got kids, just pasta and butter. Really good. I let the sauce simmer for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. As long as the meat is all cooked, you're good to go. I mean, you can let it simmer for a couple hours if you want. You don't have to. But I'm going to show you how I would make this. This is Parmesan and Romano cheese. Then we've got some pine nuts. So how I would make this dish, which I am for Sarah right now, Noodles. Not that much. You can get more if you'd like. Then here's your sauce. Put your sauce right on top. Mm, so good. Hearty. That's healthy. Pretty. I know. I know. Get a nice bowl. Take some pine nuts. Pine nuts will give it really nice flavor. Then Mm. Looks good. And you, my love, are having deer meat for dinner. today. I thank you for all our many blessings, Lord. I thank you for everybody who's friends with us and fans and a part of our, our YouTube channel. Lord, I thank you for everything you've done for us. Lord, please nourish this food to our body and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Now. Okay, for all of you who keep asking, yes, this is milk. I love milk. Probably a Wisconsin thing, but I do like milk. Yeah, and that's grapefruit juice. Indian River Select grapefruit juice. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. Very flavorful. You can taste that cheese too out of all that stuff. Oh yeah. That cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Came home from work tonight. I was tired. I'd, I've been going all day. Just wanted to make something that was nutritious, fun, flavorful, and easy. And, and hearty. Yeah, and hearty. which I know there's lots of days when you come home, the last thing you want to do is spend an hour in the kitchen making something. I think everyone, men, women, kids, I think everyone would like this meal. Pine nuts give it a little crunch too. The pine nuts are awesome. You gotta try the pine nuts. you guys really appreciate y'all being a part of everything today thanks for watching 
This is Tasty Tuesday number five. Numero cinco. <laughs> She's hip on her Spanish. I try. Mm -hmm. but for, all, for all of you don't know, he speaks Spanish very well. Might come as a surprise to a lot of you, but he really does. I'm still learning. What? We're here. Ow. Ow.